Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. Today we have a pretty casual video. I wanted to just sit down and chat with all of you about how my journal and planning setup is going so far this year. So we did a Techo Kaigi at the beginning of January, which is just a fun uh, way of talking about your planning and basically planning about what you're planning. So you're planning your journals and your planners. And I wanted to do a little bit of a mid-year Techo Kagi to reevaluate what I've been using and just to kind of discuss all the different things that I've been using and things that have changed in my setup because a few things, actually a lot of things have changed and I've started using a lot of different systems. So I think this is gonna be fun. We'll just get started right away. Um, so we'll work with planners and then we'll move into journals and then the little maybes that I kind of use here and there that are still part of my setup because I use them maybe like weekly or maybe like, you know, a few times each month, but aren't like, you know, integral to my setup. So we'll just get started with the planners. So I have um, these planners right over here. We have three main planners. And I know, I know at last time I just had my regular planner and then my like work planner. So it's kind of the same, but we've added something different. I stopped using my take a note A6, which was supposed to be my work planner. And also my Hobonichi A5 cousin was supposed to be my personal planner. I'm no longer using those. So I ditched the Hobonichi cousin A5 Avec. Um, just by the end of June, I finished that f first book and then it just wasn't working out for me. I wasn't filling it up and I just wasn't enjoying um, the cousin as much as I did in the beginning of the year. So maybe we'll move back into that at some point in the year. I still have the second half of the cousin. I mean, it's a pretty pricey planner, so maybe I should use it, but I'm just not finding planner and journal piece with it. Um, and I also retired Take a Note, which is an A6 notebook that I had probably for like the first two weeks of January. And then I quickly donated it to my sister who's using that as her work planner and it's working for her. Um, but we'll go with something that has been in my setup for pretty much most of the year that is going super well and i think this is going to be like my ride or die planner from now on um for work at least this is my traveler's notebook it's so good to be back in the traveler's notebook um and it's kind of like a hybrid bullet journal um uh but basically this has um a clear plastic folder that i diy there's a tutorial on my youtube channel where you kind of turn this um, half folder into a full like craft-esque folder but it's you know made out of plastic um, and then I I'll show you here this is what it looks like I just have a dated um, monthly insert this is actually um, for September I can't show you any pages from the past because uh, there's confidential information there but yeah I've been using this kind of like my main like monthly log this has been really helpful because as much as i love bullet journaling i hate making monthly spreads it's the bane of my existence so this takes away the stress of like the monthly pages and then um this is the back of the clear plastic folder which has an integrated pen loop that i also diy uh, that's also on my channel and i just carry my twisby diamond 580 um in here and i love it so much because i can actually keep a fountain pen with my traveler's notebook and then this is my main bullet journal. So I do all of my weekly spreads in here and I really can't show you much. Um, let me just see, I think there's, yeah, I can show you this. Um, let's show you this. So uh, I do all my bullet journaling here. So as you can see, um, this was the last week of school and I had no more school on Thursday and Friday. Um, so I was just playing around with inks here, uh, but I've been really enjoying this setup. It's basically just a dupe for the uh, the weekly dated horizontal plus memo from Traveler's Company, but I only need the five days of the work week. Um, I don't need the whole array of seven days. So this has been really helpful because that my gripe with that insert is that there's not enough space for me and this gives me a little bit more space actually so i have all of my like days over here and then i have um yeah i can show you a little bit of this my to do's up here and then the halfway mark i actually have 
notes right here and this has been working well um, I like this because I do use a mix of digital planning for work and stuff just because we use teams and everything is integrated on one calendar so this is more for me and my personal tasks uh, but I still like to import a lot of things from my uh, teams and like work online calendar here so yeah um, that's pretty much it um, and then I also have I carry two pencil boards in here but I never really use this one it just kind of keeps everything nice and secure and then I forgot to say that this is actually the Zoom Keen agenda which I've been loving um, I think they're reformulating or changing up the their papers and stuff so I highly suggest trying to get the old ones if you're really into this aesthetic but yeah this has been working really well and then um, I guess this is the next biggest change. I got this, um, I think right around April or March. This was actually gifted to me by 11 wonderful individuals. I will put them on, I have this dedication spread. So these lovely people actually gifted this to me. Thank you, Amy, April, Miranda, Cass, Caitlin, Mar, Chelsea, Jasmine, Cheryl, Joy, and Simone for gifting this Hobonichi Weeks because I've been talking about getting a spring start Hobonichi Weeks on my instagram on um twitch like every single time and i think they probably just got um got uh, a little bit bored of me talking about it too much and they bought this for me and it was so incredibly kind as well as more goodies so this actually holds a little bit of a special place in my heart because they were so gracious i just have um and my first ollie clip i finally own one after many years of hearing about it it's actually a game changer um but i just have my um it open to my monthly pages and then i don't really have a use for the monthlies but i've been loving the weeklies as like a fun creative planner so i've been tracking things and i've been putting like appointments and stuff um obviously i still don't have much going on i mean the world is slow slowly opening up again but still like i haven't really you know had many um like appointments so i just put any appointment and all of my like kind of big events just like twitch streams and things that kind of take a lot of time in here and then i decorate um here and there like maybe i actually grab this quite a bit throughout the week so i like actually decorating here and there so this is um actually tuesday so i kind of set it up and i haven't really decorated but i put every appointment there and this is kind of like not my main planner but it's kind of like a fun creative planner memory keeping hybrid so it's not the most like um i guess necessary setup but i really enjoy using this and i have an awesome cover that i purchased for it coming soon so we'll have a video on that soon hobonichi weeks love it i highly suggest you trying it i want to do more fun stuff with the backside with like bullet journaling but and tracking but We'll get to that <laughs> in the future. Uh, and then next up, we have... I gotta go a little bit faster. I'm in rings! 2021 is a crazy year, so let's not make it... Actually, no, let's make it a little bit wilder, a little bit wackier by trying out mini rings. So this is my... One of the many ring planners that I picked up. Um, but I'm only dedicated to the micro five or mini five planner size. And I've talked about this in my file of facts video of the Malden Navy, um, that I unboxed, but I've been loving it. I actually just have, um, a tab for dailies. So I have, well, actually there was a tab here before, but it was getting a little too chonky. Oops. Did I just, Oop. I guess this was never on there. Oops. Well, let's fix that right now, actually unless this slipped out um and then we have just like add to planner which i mean this is my main planner so i don't really know why i have this section i think i just need to change it but these are just like day like little notes or things i need to write down um that i don't have a place for so they go here it's been handy actually i really like having like a little <laughs> brain dump section i was gonna say drum brain oh my gosh um but this is just my dailies i've been loving it i've been trying different stuff i like this planner test freebie as well as i forget all the other freebies that i've used um i also use the peanuts planner co hope fobonichi um kind of layout just because i love the hobonichi it just wasn't working out for me i think it's the size i might want to revisit the a6 um techo but 
we'll talk about that for, in 2022 uh, but i've been loving it um i've had a few misprints so i've been decorating and collaging mini collaging the other side and that's been bringing me a lot of joy i've just been really enjoying it and i felt more productive or even if i'm not doing a lot it's just fun to kind of play around with rings actually um so yeah we have that going on and then next up we have the weekly section so over here this is also from peanuts planner co really love it i've been really into habit tracking um just because i am really bad at like formulating habits so that's been one thing and then i have my monthly this is actually the proprietary file effects ones that come with the malden that i ordered i still love it and it's you know i've, I've gone um into like the mini plus range where i'm printing my inserts a little bit wider um Lindsay scribbles has talked about this um and she's actually like the big inspiration for my setup so i'll link her video down below um but yeah even my tabs that i created which was really fun i actually uh drew this for this planner <laughs> this like lily of the valley night sky thing um i've been really enjoying just making things for my planner so this is actually some baby's breath that i laminated as a little dashboard and i don't know i've been into like this really kind of <laughs> um a lot of the twitch fam says i'm into like emo orange aesthetics so that's i guess what i've been into um but yeah i've been into night sky and like golden hour themes so that's why i've been gravitating towards that and then <laughs> last section is menu and workouts this is from peanuts planner co just because i'm trying to be a little bit healthier this is like an ongoing thing <laughs> uh but you know at least i'm trying and then i laminated a bts meal <laughs> um cup that i had because bts <laughs> and yeah i've been loving it i carry this around everywhere with me like it's it's really nice and when i'm using the file effects this is actually i still i still carry like a dedicated wallet but it's like more of like a money clip card holder and i rarely have cash but when i have cash i just put it in here now so it's kind of cool actually feels like an old school planner that i not planner a wallet that actually holds cash I know people still carry cash it's just me i'm just a card person okay and then that does it for planning um let's move into like journals so if there's one journal that i have been obsessed about it's been this one this is the journal that i have been obsessed with this is the thinking of you book from mr eggplants um Mr. Eggplants is a Taiwanese creator. I've, I have a video about this too, uh, but I've been really enjoying it just because of the layout. This actually has Tomoe River paper in the cream, which I love. And it has a unique layout because, I mean, I still need to do something with this and this. I could have done some tracking and stuff, but for me, this is not about like productivity. This is more about memory keeping and just getting creative with like collaging styles. So you get a beautiful, like lovely um, kind of cover page. You get a month on two pages, which I've been using for gratitude, and then it goes into weeklies. So this is just like the Hobonichi weekly view and monthly view, but made very aesthetically. And I love how you get the bottom half for like the like dated things. And then for the top half, you have some blank space to collage or do whatever you want. And I've seen so many other people create beautiful things out of this. I aspire to have that minimalist aesthetic, but honestly, I probably this, yeah, this is probably the most minimalist I've ever done um, in this journal, but a lot of people, you know, make a lot of minimalist spreads in here and it, it's really pretty, but I've been really enjoying this and I've been playing around with the style, like this a little bit more muted, a little bit more pastel, and it's been so fun. One of my favorite things to do actually is to create the cover page or like decorate the cover page because that kind of like informs my aesthetic for the month. So this is like my May gratitude and you can see there's a lot of like yellows and greens and citrus fruit and then um, kind of like it follows. In June, I had like a like spacey moon and yellow lily of the valley theme and it kind of just works with everything that I've been into. So I've been really liking this. I highly recommend it. If there's one planner that I was like, or journal that I feel like I should recommend, it's this one, um, just because I've found so much joy in it. I, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I realize that I'm more of a weekly journaler. Like I love seeing my week on two pages and seeing all my memories on two pages. Uh, there are some days where you actually just get three, um, three days or two days. If the month is ending, like, 
yeah, if the month is ending on like a Wednesday, um, they'll give you the days up until when the month ends. So the month ended on the 30th here and then you get a blank page. So not every spread is actually a weekly spread. So that's actually really fun. Like this one actually just has four slots and then you have this whole um, left hand side for like journaling so i've been really liking this and since it has tomoe river paper i think part of the joy that i've gotten from this notebook is actually my love for fountain pens and that that re-emergence of fountain pens in my like day-to-day -day life so yeah i've been really enjoying that and yeah highly recommend uh, i just have it in a bomb kuchin cover this is actually the cover that i was using for um my hoboniji cousin Havek. But, um, I don't know, it doesn't really match the aesthetic. I feel like I need, like, a green cover or something like that. But we are not going to buy a cover just because of the planner inside or journal inside. Uh, next up, we have... Oh, this is my Painted Traveler's Notebook. There's a video on how I did this, but I've been obsessed with it. And this is my daily journal um, and stream journal. And when I say daily journal, it houses the only constant thing in my journaling life it's actually my like i don't know how to call this like i guess it's my daily journal or my volume journal so ever since i started journaling i've dedicated all of my journaling to the traveler's notebook system so i have like this is the 24th notebook that i have of this kind of like day by day journaling and i try to document every day but obviously that doesn't make sense i don't end up journaling every day um but that's okay. I just like continue on. If I miss a whole bunch of days, that's fine. But for the most part, I still call it my daily journal, but this is where I do all of my big memory keeping. If something big has happened, I will probably journal about it here and also in here. Uh, but with this year being a little bit more different and trying new things, I actually started streaming on Twitch and I have this stream journal that has like plans and rituals that I have for every stream. like. You know technical stuff that i need to do and then i just document some of my streams and also plan for them um i've kind of fallen off the planning wagon and kind of have <laughs> just gone rogue with streaming in terms of just doing journaling content there like weekly um so i haven't really like explicitly planned things unlike um the beginning of my streaming journey uh, but it's been really fun because i don't know it's a fun way of documenting stuff and when you are streaming sometimes you just need scrap paper or like there's fun things where viewers can redeem certain like channel points on your channel um and i use this notebook for for that so if someone asks uh, or redeems like one of the rewards where i get to handwrite your name or your phrase of choice i'll do it in here and it's just a really fun way to kind of interact with people on stream but also to kind of memory keep too so yeah i've been really enjoying this and i kind of do swatches in here too and try different inks and yeah it's a little bit of like a all-arounder notebook but i've been really liking this and it's a good use for this really beautiful insert that i can kind of savor for longer because this will take me longer to finish than my usual daily journals and i just have a clear like opening i don't know what to call this i keep wanting to call it a craft folder but it's not a craft folder it's a clear plastic folder there it is um that just has secretarial pockets i made this again there's a video on the channel and then i've been loving my b-sides and rarities orange zipper pouch because it matches you know my my color mood for 2021 it's like the orange and olive green so i've been loving that and then i just have um the superior labor um I guess this comes with like the z the zipper pouches, but I just punched another hole to make it into a charm. And this is actually my Ace Hotels Traveler's Notebook. So that's my main journal. And then these are the final four. So the everything that I showed you, I've kind of used every day or pretty much I try to use every day. Obviously there's days where that doesn't happen. And then these ones I kind of like just use when I can and that's fine. Um, we'll go with this. This is actually one of my favorite kind of um, setups as of late. Probably, I think, maybe in mid-March or maybe even, actually probably later, I think maybe in June, 
um, when we started with like the b-sides and rarities I, I didn't really use this insert that much but I've been really enjoying doing mini collages so this is my collage book and I was loving this so much but I also wanted to kind of make use of my old papers so I actually made a junk journal insert and this is probably one of my favorite journal inserts I've ever been actually not not my favorite journal insert that I've created but one of my favorite inserts that I've journaled in if that makes any sense I'm just gonna cover this up um i'll just give you a little flip through but i call this mini moments and this is obviously volume one but it's just small collages that don't have a lot of like writing and it's just really fun memories that i want to remember for like a very long time so it's like really condensed it's not really chronological um but i'll print out photos or something really aesthetic like this is just collages um but yeah i, I just really have been enjoying this and it's kind of made me feel a lot more creative just because I'm toying around with layers and like seeing how things kind of fold on top of each other um writing letters to myself it's just super cool one thing that I've been really into is also using these um grommets or rivets or whatever they're called um using my we are memory keepers crocodile I've been going ham uh with that and I've been really enjoying the aesthetic like this is one of my favorite spreads so far and i can just get very like moody and aesthetic in here there's another rivet or whatever it's called grommet in action and yeah it's been really cool i've been really enjoying it a lot and then there's also just an old monthly insert from 2020 in here that i wanted to do something with i think i want to cover the the pages and actually just do fun weather tracking just because that sounds cool especially with the heat wave i kind of want to document meant that a little bit more and also i have an integrated pen loop here integrated leather pen loop and then this is also another diy when i turned a clear folder into a clear clear pocket folder um and then i have my b-sides and rarities over here i think this is empty actually i should probably put some washi samples in here uh, but i love this yellow and i couldn't resist getting it because it's one of my favorite colors and this actually i usually have my caveco in here but it's not here right now and then Next up, we have, this is my kind of diary, like secret journal. Like if I just need to like write something that doesn't need to be seen by anyone, it goes in here. Um, I've also been documenting the books that I read. I feel like books are kind of like more personal for me. I don't know. Um, so I haven't been like journaling about it or like showing it too much on social media, but yeah this has been really cool I, I this is one spread i can show this is i've been doing book reviews and this is kind of like the format i just have a photo of the book um start date finish date and then some space for me to write i still haven't written about it but i also did a typewritten page here and i yeah like to track my reading progress and like write about stuff and write about my thoughts but also this is like yeah a diary where i just like if i'm sad or angry i just like write in here and it's been really fun uh, this is actually in a Galen cover. This is an A6 um, notebook from Sumkin. Beautiful um, paper that takes um, fountain pen ink very nicely. And then these are the two notebooks that I've kind of mentioned even in my original Techo Kaigi that I haven't really used. This is uh, my bullet journal. I haven't really been in that bullet journal um, mood lately. The only time I bullet journaled... Was that actually a verb? The last time I yeah made a bullet journal spread was when I was really into and I still am into um, Lily of the Valley and like the night sky aesthetic heavily inspired by Hank's diary on Instagram but this is the last time I did some bullet journaling and I even made this spread and I never even filled it out exposing myself <laughs> uh, but yeah I just haven't really been into this notebook so much and I actually started it back in 20 ooh I don't even know 2021 no not even probably I think this is 2019 actually yep because this is the start of I think 2020 yeah so I've had this for quite a while see this is the beginning of 2020 and I've just had this for a while but I'm too scared to let go of it because i still have this much left and i do want i like completing my notebooks just like how i repurpose old 
journal inserts that have like dates on them this is the same thing i'm not gonna let this go so this is still here if i need some paper um like i've done some rogue swatching on stream here of like the washi tapes that i've purchased and stuff but yeah it's not really my favorite thing but i still love the aesthetic of it and i still keep it on my notebook sorry on my table yeah and it's still there and then this is i my sketchbook um holder this is a beautiful galen a5 zip folio that i feel so guilty because i haven't been using it um i really should um but this just holds some stickers some like paint swatches and stuff um and then this has my not complete sketchbook um, i'm almost there actually oh i was yeah and i've been i go through phases with like with drawing and doodling and painting and i'm hoping that i pick up this again because i was really into it this is probably one of my favorite spreads sketchbook spreads that i've created i just like the energy of it um but i guess i'm just not in the season of drawing right now but i really want to again because i feel a little bit rusty and um i just want to hone in my journaling and sorry my art skills again because yeah i've been really you know missing it uh but yeah I, i'm almost done this as well we're so close like i should probably just power through and turn on the camera and just doodle for a few hours just to get it get this done but yeah i really want to finish this uh but yeah that's my completed techo kaigi um all in all we have four books we kind of use here and there but not too regularly and then we have our heavy hitters right over here again you know everyone's planning is a little bit different and the way people navigate their planning and journaling is different for everyone i just happen to really enjoy these five and it's been working for me sure there are days and weeks where i don't get to use any of these um but for the most part i've still really enjoyed using them and i've already weaned off of um the books that i have not been enjoying so yeah i hope this was useful for you and I am really curious to find out if you're participating in One Book July. As you can tell, I am not participating in One Book July just because I have been loving my setup and I've been genuinely enjoying it and finding so much peace and joy in it that it feels weird to strip everything back and just use one book because everything is working and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's why I'm not participating this year. I know One Book July has so many different iterations. Um, but I just, yeah, I just want to stick to what I'm using and that's that. So five books for the most part. And then I'm interested in also adding more rings into my setup because I kind of want a project management tool. I'm pr pretty sure I can integrate it into this or into this, but part of me just wants to add a different ring size i've been loving micro five or mini five and this is my ride or die ring size i think just because of how portable it is but i feel like project management and this is a little bit tiny and even this is a little bit tiny and i just haven't found success in project management or more like explicit long-term planning in here except for my bullet journal um but you know there's just something about trying different things but right now that's not one of my concerns i'll cross that bridge when i get there aka when i finally purchase a plotter <laughs> a plotter journal but for now um yeah this has been my setup um, let me know if you're participating in one book july and how your setup has changed from the beginning of the year till now i'm genuinely really interested because a lot of people change things and try things so i'm always curious and you know what since i've started using rings um i'm so curious to see what other things that i'm gonna try um discs are a thing that i've heard of i'm too scared to venture into that but you never know 2021 has been a little bit of a different year for me in terms of trying different planners and journals and I wouldn't have it any other way because uh, variety is the spice of life. Okay, um, that's enough babbling for now. I will see you all next time for another video on Monday. Bye, everyone.